there, Orange County. Well, you remember when you were kids and you'd bury your feet in the sand? Well, one kid took it a little too far this week. I'm here with Battalion Chief Jim Turner, who's going to talk a little bit about what happens when you get buried in the sand. Uh, the sand collapses quite easily, and, and this young man got trapped, and it was very serious. And what happened exactly? He dug a very deep hole. I heard five to six feet deep, and then uh, the side walls collapsed on him, and it uh, covered him up to his chest. And he was stuck. It took uh, over a dozen uh, lifeguards and another half dozen, eight, ten firefighters as well to get him out over 35 minutes of digging. And explain what can happen if, if somebody's that deep in, in sand. Um, the, there's no structural integrity with sand. It uh, looks like it's very solid and will hold up and you think you can dig into it and the side walls collapse. They fall in on you just suddenly. It is not something where it starts to, you know, slowly fall off and there's a warning. It just collapses suddenly and we, uh, lifeguards up and down the coast are always telling people not to dig deep holes in the sand and certainly never to dig sideways into the side walls of any of the berms. Uh, they'll collapse suddenly and uh, tragedy can happen instantly. And some of our lifeguards talk about building castles and not digging holes into the sand. This kid, he, can't, he made it out safe? Safe and sound. Uh, they checked him, paramedics checked him out and uh, he was released there at the scene. It's been gorgeous summer. Uh, we always warn people to swim uh, near a lifeguard and if they get caught in a rip current to swim sideways uh, parallel to shore to get out of the rip current. If they get tired to just stop and rest and yell and, and a lifeguard will come and rescue them. Some great tips on how to keep your beach trips nice and safe. I'm going to turn it over to Surf Junkie Jeff, who's going to tell us a little bit what's happening in the surf world. Thanks, Elon. Well, can you imagine what it would be like to walk away with $50,000 for one maneuver on a wave? Well, that's what one lucky surfer will take home for the most radical and innovative aerial. Custom Footwear just launched its custom airstrike competition this week. And it doesn't matter whether you're a pro or an amateur, but it has to be captured on film. For more info, go to customairstrike.com. Now taking a look at the waves for this weekend, it looks like we'll have some fun combo action on tap. So the beach breaks are probably your best bet on Saturday. Surfline forecasters are calling for a mix of some decent south-southwest swell and a little northwest wind swell in the mix. Most OC breaks can expect knee to waist high waves with the top combo spots pulling stomach to chest high waves with maybe a few plus sets. On Sunday, we should see more of the same. If you're planning on paddling a spring suit or even some trunks, we'll do the job with that water temp hanging between 68 and 71 degrees. For more surf happenings, go to ocregister.com slash beaches. For Daybreak OC, I'm Surf Junkie Jeff.